Hi everybody, welcome hi. back to my channel. Say hi. Hi. You wanna say something else? Charlotte is behind me. Yes, and Mikey is behind Daddy. Yes, it is. There goes Daddy driving. So today we are out and about. Um, we're gonna go to some thrift stores. We just left one, but I didn't get any footage in there because the music was very loud, and um, you yeah, just don't wanna be bothered with that. So this strikes a debate that me and my husband always have have about the pricing in thrift stores i feel like the pricing is ridiculous and my husband feels like well of course they're going to raise the prices because of like resellers and stuff but what do you guys think so let's see babe tell them what is your uh your stance on the whole thrift store pricing that you always say they're raising the prices because of the thrifters and resellers they ain't making Daddy, no money. Thrift stores are the four things that I can't really afford it. Okay, hold on, baby. Let Daddy finish his part. They couldn't. You can't really afford nothing, so you go to the nah, family up. Now that everybody's going to the thrift stores and finding all these, you know, uh, vintage clothing and then get online selling for four hundred dollars a piece, the thrift stores lose money. So they gotta make some kind of money on the back end. I mean, I, I guess, I guess I get that. Okay, what do you want to say real quick? And then you got to let mommy Minus talk. $1,500. Okay, thank you. So, I see what my husband is saying as far as like, okay, you know, resellers, they go to thrift stores and, you know, stuff like that. I get that. But the whole the thrift store not making money thing, first of all, the whole concept to me and to everybody i'm sure the initial concept of the thrift store is for a place for people to be able to go we're driving so i'm looking around so i'm not looking right at the camera but to have for people to have a place to go that don't have the money to walk into a typical retail store and get what they need so you can go to a thrift store buy things secondhand and your money can go further that's the you know what i'm saying that's the whole concept of a thrift store so now if your argument is correct that they know okay people are buying stuff reselling blah 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 what about the people who are still like okay i have five dollars i need an outfit let me go to the thrift store now they're just out of luck <laughs> because of resellers like to me that part doesn't make any sense like we just left out of a goodwill and they like um they re, re uh revamped it or whatever and have it organized all differently they had this section yeah, marks hey, you need clothes you're not going for the Mark Jacob shoes at this Mark twenty dollars. No, okay. So what he's talking about is a pair of Mark Jacob shoes in there, and I did reselling for a little bit, but it's kind of a headache. And I'm, you know, but I still keep my eye out if I find something good. So anyway, I saw. Hold on, hold on. So I saw this pair of Mark Jacob shoes, and the thing I was pointing out to my husband's amount, I was like, they're twenty dollars. Like that's ridiculous. In in the sense that okay, you are in a thrift store. But I get it. Okay, they think they get something in good. They want to get a couple extra bucks for it. Okay, fine. My thing was, it was a note on the bottom of the shoes that said, manager pricing, no discount allowed. And they were marked $20. And then it was a note that said, uh, sell new for $250. I'm like, so now you're like writing notes, yelling at the customers on the stuff. Because obviously people come in there like, okay, this is it's overpriced. So that's how I felt about that. But not even that. I was over in the dress section. Now, usually it's like sundresses, like $6 and, um, you know, so on and so forth. Like for a while, Goodwill had, you know, short sleeve shirts, this price, pants, this jeans, this price, shorts, this price, so on and so forth. I went over there and the dresses were like $10 and I'm like, why? You know what I mean? And it's not even a condition thing too, because if it was say, cause they get stuff that's like new with tags sometime, I'm like, okay, this is brand new. So I can see that, but stuff that's like clearly worn and cause that's what you expect. You're in a thrift store. Why is it $10? And so it's not even just, you know what I mean? It's not even just like the name brand stuff that has the markup. It's just the regular stuff that's higher priced. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, so we're in the car. We're going to check out another store. Hopefully, the music is not too loud in there. So, um, I can get some footage. But, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think about that. Because, I noticed it's not just at Goodwill. I've noticed it at Goodwills. I've noticed it at Savers. Um, 
the only place that I think is pretty consistent with pricing is Ambet's. But then again, they sometimes get some things in there where, you know, it can be a little crazy. But I don't know. We I just want to know what you guys think because um, me and my husband debate about that all the time. He thinks it's perfectly normal. I think it's ridiculous because even if I'm going, like I said, if I have $5 and I'm trying to get an outfit and I go in there and you don't have anything below $10, like that's just crazy. But anyway, we'll see. I'm not really looking for anything in particular today. Just... Um, Maybe something for my plants. I did see a plant stand in there. It was a wicker basket and it was on the, these metal legs, which I I liked it, but it had the um it had the fake plants in it and it was glued down in there, so I didn't know if I'd be able to get it out. No, we're not running out of gas. This traffic you better stop. No, he can't see. Every time we come past here, y'all see those um fences? This 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 is the zoo. And when you come down this street, sometimes you can see the giraffes. But you can't see them this time all right so when we the goodwill we were just in they had a little section like i said mark boutique and it had these shoes right these tory burt shoes number one i'm pretty sure that they were fake okay number two each pair was 35 dollars. it was four pair each marked at 35 dollars. and then look at this guy what are you doing People just are running out in the street, guys. It's ridiculous. So anyway, the four pair of shoes mark $35 a piece, right? I'm pretty sure, I'm about 90% sure they were fake. I got something to tell and you about hold, hold on, Connor. I'll let you do your own video when we get inside. You can show the kids the toys. So then um, they had three pairs of flip-flops, right? The flip-flops were literally worn down to nothing. And they were $15 a pair. So my thing is this. If you have people obviously looking stuff up so, you know, they catch certain brands that they think, okay, this is a big name brand, so I'm going to charge more. That's the difference between a thrift store and a consignment shop. If I go to a consignment shop, I am expecting for to find name brands for, you know, a certain price marked down below retail, okay? And I'm going to expect, okay, this stuff is used. That's fine. But at least I get the knowledge and I know that, okay, these things are authentic. So that's the thing too. You want to get charged like these consignment store prices, but then there's no way, like you, you have no way. And I know you're not confirming whether the stuff is real or not. So you basically see something you think is real because it has a name on it. And then it's $35 and I'm supposed to just, you know, oh, well, it has this price because it has this name on it. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, that's not the same thing. If you, don't, if you don't wanna buy it, don't buy it. Yes, I know if you don't wanna buy it, don't buy they it. They have employees to be, it, 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 something is, is happening to slip through the cracks and it's real. If somebody goes and get it and sells it for whatever price it is, they're losing money. And it's not like they selling it, even if it was real, and they only selling it for $20, so you still, even if you go sell it for $400, you still make it $380 on it. So I don't see what the problem is. I mean, I guess that's true, but no, I don't get. I don't think that's true. Like, okay, it usually, usually because like, okay, if mama. I, if I need an outfit and I only have ten dollars, I'm not going in there and I'm not buying the Mark Mark Jacob or whatever brand name Tommy Hilfiger. You're gonna go in there and you're gonna get what you need to get to make your outfit for whatever you got going on. Now, as far as people that resell, that's reselling, you gotta pay. You gotta pay a price. But that's just how it is because. If you went to the consignment store, you wouldn't be complaining. You only really see eight people complaining because it's a thrift store. But if they think that it's real, why not make, why can't, they make a little bit of money. They got to pay their employees. They right. got people that work there. Maybe the person got a raise. Maybe they gave the whole store a raise. So everything got, everything just got to go. But my point is that you, your $10 is not even doing anything in there anymore. And it's not just like, let's take the labels out of it. Like, okay, they see the labels as a way to make an extra buck. Okay, fine. I'm talking about even the basics are not even what they used to be. So just across the board, they're raising the price on everything. I mean, that happens. Cost of living go up, everything I go up. But then at the same time, I'm like... The people that are working there, they're not working there for free. Maybe. No, I know that. But... I guess I I don't know guys I see I can see where he's coming from to an extent but I'm like okay the, your basic items are not even priced reasonably so I don't know all right
Connor is having a fit because he thinks he's gonna get ice cream every time we pass the ice cream stand, which is not gonna happen. Do your kids do that every time they pass something they want it and they think they're gonna get it? Not happening. Let daddy show them what they found. Show them, babe. The Let's see how many millennials know about this. Hold the it bottom up. thing changes colors, kids. Mm -hmm. And when you swipe, and when you swipe it, when you try to make blue, it makes it makes blue. That's funny. And when you try. All right, so we're in the toy section. Connor likes board games, so that's what we're looking for. So far, he found this. It's like a nice wooden shelf, and it's full of stuff. Five bucks, and he found this and they have the Christmas stuff out already which I'm surprised so I wanted to show y'all a little bit inside here it's a lot of music and it's loud so I'm not gonna be able to show much Look. You don't see it. Charlotte stay put please I think she need to go back in watch out Thank you. Come on. Go with Daddy. It's a baseball. Don't throw it. Charlie. Yeah, no throwing it. I'm trying to see if this baseball. is what I think this is. I don't know what in the world this is. But this is very heavy. I know what this is. This it's is some kind of remote control thing. Yes, it is. These are blocks. Yeah, there's that. No. 